Eric Golar was born on August 16, 1928. He was a Turkish photojournalist, also known as Istanbul's Eye. He studied at Getronigan Armenian High School. His father owned a pharmacy, but had many friends that belonged to the world of art. Eric came into contact with these people and they inspired him to opt for a career in films and cinema. He worked in film studios and joined courses of drama under Muzzin Ertegrul. Later, he leaned towards journalism and abandoned cinema. In 1950 he joined Yeni Istanbul, a Turkish newspaper, as a photojournalist. During the same time, he studied economics from University of Istanbul. Then he started working for Hurriyet. In 1958 when Time Life, an American publication opened its Turkey branch, Eric Golar became its initial correspondent. Soon enough he started to get commissioned by other international magazines, such as Stern, Paris Match, and Sunday Times. In 1961, he was hired by Hayat magazine as the chief photographer. In this time, he met Marc Rabou and Henri Cartier-Bresson, who recruited him to join Magnum Photos. Era was presented in 1961 British Photography Yearbook. In the same year, the American Society of Magazine Photographers made him the first Turkish photographer to become the member of this organization. In 1960s, Era's work was used in books by notable authors as a means of illustration and were shown at different exhibitions around the world. In 1968, his work was displayed at the Museum of Modern Art in New York in a show called, Ten Masters of Color Photography. Moreover, his photographs were also shown in Cologne's Fair, Photokina in Germany. Two years later, Turkey, his photography album was published. His images related to art and its history were featured in magazines, like Horizon, Life, Time, and Newsweek. Era traveled for photography assignments to countries, such as Kenya, Borneo, New Guinea, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Iran and other cities of Turkey. In 1970s, he also took photography interviews with noteworthy artists and politicians, like Salvador Dali, Mark Chagall, Ansel Adams, Alfred Hitchcock, Imogen Cunningham, Willie Brandt, John Berger, Maria Callas, Bertrand Russell, Pablo Picasso, Indira Gandhi, and Winston Churchill. In addition, Era also directed The End of the Hero, a 1975 documentary based on fiction on a World War I battle cruiser. Era's work is included in the collections of institutions worldwide, such as Paris's National Library of France, New York's George Eastman Museum, Das Imaginare Photo Museum, Museum Ludwig Kohn, and Sheldon Memorial Art Gallery. Photo Mahabari, a book by Nizi Tavlas recounts the life of Era in a chronological method and the book also highlights 80 years history of Turkey. Era's philosophy on photography is that he attaches great importance to the presence of humans in photography and considers himself as a visual historian. According to him, photography should provide people with memory of their suffering and their life. He feels that art can lie but photography only reflects the reality. He does not value art in photography so he prefers photojournalism. He has won several awards for his work, including Turkey's Photographer of the Century in 1999, Master of Leica in 1962, France's Legion d'honneur, Lifetime Achievement Lucy Award in 2009, and Turkey's Grand Prize of Culture and Arts in 2005. In 2004, he was given honorary fellowship by Istanbul's Yildiz Technical University. Era also published his photographic books, such as Living in Turkey, Sinan, Architect of Suleiman the Magnificent, Era Golar's Creative Americans, Era Golar's Movie Directors, and Era Golar, Photographs. Era Golar passed away in October 2018 at the age of 90. His legacy continues to inspire photographers worldwide, and his iconic images remain a testament to his unparalleled talent and contribution to the world of photography.
If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel. This way, you'll always stay up to date with all the videos I produce here. Until the next one. See you later.